Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Natoya and I'm here to help you start traveling the world. In this video guys, I'm going to give you a list of the 18 things you must travel with. So this list is not going to be a bunch of obvious things. I came up with this list based on like 13 years of traveling. These are the things that I highly recommend and I know for sure they are essential for traveling. And not only that, all of the items that I'm recommending they can work for you in any country that you're visiting. It doesn't matter where you're going, you will need these items. If you're just starting your journey traveling the world, I highly recommend that you invest in these items early because you're going to need it. So guys, this video is a part of my Budget Traveler Beginner Series. I'll link it in the description below and I'll link it above. It's just a bunch of videos to help you start traveling on a budget. I just filmed a video on how to get super duper cheap flights. I'll link it above and below. So make sure you check that out. And also in the description, I have a bunch of tools to help you start traveling. I have some checklists, I have the ultimate trip planner checklist. I have some free eBooks. You can check all those out in the description below. So let's get started. The first thing you need to travel with is a passport case, not one of those fancy passport holders that like you can get on Etsy or just wherever. I don't recommend getting those. I recommend you get like a passport case like this. And I've had this probably, um, probably like 10 years I've had this because it's so useful. So why I prefer this over a passport case is that you can have all your documents in here and you can zip it up and it's safe and secure. So for example, when you're checking your bag, you need your documents from the agent. You can just go into your little pouch, get your passport, give them the passport, get back your passport, and then you can take your boarding passes. You can stick it in here too. You can also take your vaccine cards and stick it in here too. And everything could just be together in here. So instead of like going in your bag and having to find your passport here and your cute little passport case and having to, having to find your vaccine card here and your boarding pass here, everything is together and easy to get. So guys, I'm sure you can find this on Amazon. I'll see if I can find something similar on Amazon. I'll link it, link it below. The next thing I recommend you pack with is a luggage scale. So I got this from Amazon. I'll link it below. And a luggage scale is so important. It's important for me because I am I always worry so much that my bag is overweight and that I would have to like step aside and have to unpack my stuff and it's just really embarrassing. So mentally it's important for me, but you can get one of these so that you can just weigh your bag before getting on the air, getting on your flight. And this is mainly important when you're going back to the US and you bought your souvenirs you might have bought yourself new, new clothes, whatever. It's really inexpensive and you can roll it up and pack it because you don't want to have to pay um, extra money just because you're like five pounds over. The next thing you should invest in is a voltage converter kit. So this kit is really cool. So first of all, here's the voltage converter. And if you don't know, the voltage converter just converts different voltages like the US, the voltage in, a, in the US and France is different. So you would use a voltage converter if you have appliances that does not co come already come with a voltage converter. Like for example, my flat iron does not come with a voltage converter, so I would need this. So what you would do is just plug in your appliance here and then you would, there's usually a cord. I don't know where the cord is right now. The cord, you plug it into the wall and it converts the voltage. So I highly re recommend you invest in this because especially, especially for girls, we need our flat iron, we need our curling iron. So just get this early on in your travels because it is a pain in the butt when you pack something that you need to use and you can't use it because you don't have a voltage converter. And with this kit, it comes with a bunch of different adapters because even if you don't need a voltage converter, you most likely need an adapter. So this kit has a bunch of different adapters for many different places around the world. Where here's this one. It even has one for the US. This is what we were using in Croatia. So be sure to get this kit because it has that it has everything you need, an adapter and it has a voltage converter. All right, so the next thing you need is a debit and a credit card with no foreign international fees. So again, I highly recommend you just get one of these debit cards or credit cards early when you first start your travel journey because uh, because you don't want to be paying 
annoy extra annoying fees for like no reason so the card i'm using right now and i've been using it for years but i'm thinking about changing it is the capital one 360 so there's no foreign international fees when i use my card so i'll link a article in the description from nerd wallet with the best debit cards to use while traveling and the best credit cards to use while traveling because i'm not not an expert but i do know for sure make sure you get a debit card with no foreign international fees the next thing i highly recommend you buy is packing cubes so packing cubes are so important because they compress your items so you can pretty much hold more stuff and also what i love about packing cubes is that when i'm in the airbnb or a hotel i just open it like this i'll show you and i'll put the top on the bottom and i can just put it in the drawers i can open it like this and put in a drawer like this so it doesn't touch the shelf and i just take out what i need the next thing you need to invest in is a day bag that you'll love so i really want to stress this that you need a day bag or if your thing is a backpack you need something that won't drive you crazy when you're traveling it needs to be the right size it needs to be comfortable to hold um for me it's important that i have a lot of pockets i can hold everything so with this bag here and this is just from target but I've been traveling with this bag for two and a half months now. It's the only bag I've been using for two and a half months. Um, and I'm going to continue traveling with it. I can pack everything in here. So hand sanitizer, my face mask, a little bottle of water, my cell phone. Um, now I have to travel with my vaccine card. Literally, I can pack everything in here. And there's lots of pockets to stay organized. It's a pocket here too. And if I can, I'll link this in the description or I'll find something similar on Amazon. The next thing that's important and similar to my day pack is a travel bag. So here's my travel bag. I just got this from Amazon and I love it. So what I love about this is that it has many different pockets to help me stay organized and not like have a meltdown at the airport because I can't find something. Yeah, because sometimes when I'm at the airport, especially JFK and the agents, they have an attitude for some reason and they ask me for something and I need to quickly find it. I know exactly where it is and it's just easy to carry. I just go like this and I can carry all of my documents. I have a folder here. It's room for my laptop. I can just literally carry all the things that are important to me. I highly, highly recommend that you invest in a good travel bag, just like this one here. And I'll link it below. I just got it from Amazon. It wasn't very expensive. Then I take my little pouch here and if i know i'm gonna need it in like a second like when i talk when i go to one agent and i'm waiting to go to at, to the other agent at security i just take it and i put it right in here in the front pocket here so i can easily grab it and then when i don't need it for a while i'll just take it and i'll stick it in the bigger pocket inside one of the many big pockets inside so the next travel item you need is like a cover-up shawl or scarf or just something to cover you up when you're going into a holy place so this is especially important like during the summertime and you're wearing a spaghetti strap shirt or you're wearing like a short skirt or a short pants. You want to be able to have something that you can roll up tight and hold it in your bag, like your day bag that, that can perfectly fit in here. Like a scarf that you can roll up tight and hold it in your bag for when you go somewhere holy, like a cathedral. And then when you get there, you can take it out of your bag and just cover yourself with it or wrap it around you if you're wearing shorts because some places won't won't let you in so for example when we were in Zadar we went to a cathedral and my niece she was told she couldn't go in because she was wearing super short shorts and a spaghetti strap but luckily there was a, a traveler there a lady she heard what was going on and she had a shawl stuffed in her bag and she gave it right to my niece so be sure not only to pack it but to travel with it and have it in your day pack the next thing you need to travel with is a mini sewing kit. This is very important because if you're like me and you, you're traveling with, you're not traveling with a lot of clothes, your clothes might get some wear and tear and you might get a little hole and you need to sew it up. So I've used this a few times and also in the kit, it comes with some needles and some like, and it comes with um buttons in case a button falls off. And I got this right from the Dollar Tree. 
just a dollar. It was so useful, it's a lifesaver. So make sure you get one of these sewing kits. I'll link one on Amazon if I see it. The next thing you need to travel with and you can get it right from Dollar Tree is an emergency kit, like a mini emergency kit. So we have one the same size as this. It's just a tiny kit that comes with um, alcohol wipes, uh, band-aids, and just a bunch of other little things you'll need. And it's so light to travel with. So be sure to get a mini emergency kit. Like I said, you can go to right, right to Dollar Tree or you can buy one from Amazon. So the next thing you need to travel with and you need to invest in is a portable cell phone charger. So I won't state the obvious, but it's not a good idea to have a phone go dead when you're in a foreign, a foreign country. I've had that experience before when I was traveling in, in Taiwan and my cell phone went, went dead and I was literally like in the middle of nowhere and it was just a mess. That day was just a mess. It worked out, don't worry. But ever since then, I always make sure that my phone is fully charged and that I even have my second cell phone, an older cell phone that I travel with. So make sure you invest with a portable battery charger, especially if you're a solo female traveler. All right guys, so the next thing you need to travel with is a laptop cover. Now I've learned this from experience. You need to get a good sturdy laptop cover for your laptop when you're traveling because lots of things can happen and you want to protect your laptop. So I got this right from Amazon and it fits right into my travel bag. So when I'm traveling, I put it in here. I've spilled a lot of stuff on my laptop, including wine, coffee, especially when you're on the go and say your laptop is in here and you're on the go and you can easily spill something on it. Someone else can spill something on it. So just be sure to protect your laptop and get a proper laptop case. And also be sure to get a case to hold your cords in your, your cell phone, your cell phone, your computer, AirPods, everything. Just be sure to have a place to store everything because it's really annoying when you're looking for all of your chargers and they're just all over your bag, all over your luggage. Just have a place you can put them all in. And actually, I'm about to upgrade mine because they do kind of get tangled in this. So I'm going to upgrade mine. But for now, it's good. The next thing you definitely need to invest in is a extra long charger. You are going to find that many places around the world, they don't have a lot of plugs like in the U.S. I find that a lot of the places that I stay in the U.S., there's like outlets everywhere, all over the Airbnb. But in other countries, it's hard. To, there's probably like one or two in the in the in the bedrooms. So having an extra long, I can't remember how long this is, but I'll link it below. So having an extra long cord like this will help you if you're in a situation like that. I highly recommend you invest in one of these. The next thing I recommend you travel with is your favorite spice or ingredient or just something that has to deal with food. So I've learned. From years of traveling that it's so important that I travel with this is curry powder and this is something I decided that I'm always traveling with I'm Guyanese and I need my curry and this is very important to me and I'm traveling with my sister and her kids so when it's time to have some a familiar dish some familiar flavor some home my sister, she's the cook, so she makes some curry. So go to the Dollar Tree and put your favorite spice in like a, in a container you get from the Dollar Tree, whatever you want to do, but just make sure you travel with your favorite spice, your favorite ingredient. If that's Tabasco sauce or Sriracha sauce, whatever, just make sure you travel with it because it'll help you with cravings and even homesickness. So the next thing I think you should pack is a candle. So I'm not going to lie, I haven't been reading a lot um, over the past couple of months, I've gotten more into Audible and listening to audiobooks, but I highly recommend you invest in a Kindle so that you don't have to carry around a whole bunch of books with you. I bought my Kindle like five years ago. It's like an older version and it still works. So it definitely is a good investment. So whether you choose to have a Kindle or have an Audible subscription, whatever you decide, make sure you invest in that early because you will need it. It is a useful tool. The next thing you need to invest in is a good carry-on luggage and a good check-in luggage. You need to invest in a good one early. You don't want to have to buy three, four, five uh, luggages. Just invest in really good ones early so you can have it for a long time. 
I just recently bought, bought this luggage set from Amazon and it had it has really really good reviews. I'm still kind of deciding if I like it. But before this, I had a luggage a cat a check on luggage set that my mother bought me that I had for like five years. It's been all over the world with me, and it was just a really really good investment. So if you're deciding to buy luggage, I recommend you get you buy a carry on and a check bag and you can even get a with that set you can even get a travel bag like the one i have here you can even get that set too so do your research make sure you invest in something good i'll link i'll link the luggage set that i recently bought in the description so the very last thing i re recommend you invest in and this is actually something new to my list i actually didn't buy it yet it just kind of came crystal clear to me that this is something that i need to invest in and that is a, uh, like a lumbar support, uh, um, pillow, uh, neck thing, uh, like the do the all in one kind of thing. I seen it on Amazon because when you're traveling a lot, uh, like my back starts to hurt, my lower back starts to hurt and my neck starts to hurt. And we've been traveling a lot recently on long bus rides, uh, on long plane rides. So when I get back to America, I'm definitely investing in one of those. And I'll link below the one I'm thinking of buying, but definitely this is something new to my list and I know it will be a great investment. So guys, I really hope this list helped you. It's literally everything I highly, highly recommend you invest in if you're a new traveler. Be sure to check out that playlist in the description for more information to help you start traveling on a budget. Of course, don't forget to like this video, hit the subscription bell and the bell notification. Bye.